Today, we're going to be doing part four in our DaVinci Resolve series on how to create a quiz video. If you and I are meeting for the first time, my name is Bob Cheslinski and I'm a band director and I create YouTube videos to entertain, teach, and save you time with all things music related. Let's get right to the video today on how to create a quiz video in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into the last part today. This is the part where we're finishing up our quiz video. We've got some things laid out here. I showed you how to copy and paste. So we took part number one and we just copied and pasted it so that we had a number two. And then we could just keep doing that. And then we set up an ending here and I'm going to click on number three. And now we're all set up for three different questions and we can keep going with this. I can come back in here and I can click right here drag my mouse over all of this. I can click copy. And then what I want to do is I want to bring my little timeline marker over. And right where that line is, I'm just going to click right on it. I'm going to right click and paste insert. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep the space that I put in there. Okay. Now, when I grab one of these pictures and I go to bring it down, let's come back into the edit page and I'm going to come back over to here, my number two, and I'll just grab Coco and I'll bring Coco down and I'll just drop it down in. You can see there's extra space. So then all I need to do is just come over and click and highlight these parts and just drag them over and fill in that space. And then if I want to do that to the next one, same thing. Um, let's bring How to Train Your Dragon down and I'll drop that in. And you can see there's space, so I'm going to click and highlight and drag over those parts. And then I'm going to just slide that back. So that's simply how we do that. So we filled in all that space. The last part to creating this quiz video, after you've got all your numbers numbered with the text box and you bring your music down and you bring your uh, picture down, don't forget when you go into the edit page and you click on your audio file, you want to right click on it, come up to normalize audio, and you want that to be about on minus 10 decibels and you click normalize. And when you do that, it creates just a fluid link between all your audio clips that the volume is going to be pretty much the same on all of those. Now, at this point, you can keep creating another number, another number, another number by copying and pasting bring all your pictures down and your audio down and trim it just like we did in part one and part two and part three. And if you didn't see any of those, make sure you go and watch those too. And you can go back and watch them as many times as you need and they will help you out to create this video. So if you need those links, there will be a link up top you can click on and there'll be links down in the description you can click on to go and watch all of those parts. But the last step, and this is kind of important, is the delivery. So down on the bottom, you want to click on Deliver. Now when you click on Deliver, we're going to drag this over to the beginning of our timeline, and we're going to click on the first frame right here. And when we click on that first frame, we're just going to come down and we're going to click Add to Render Queue. Now it's going to ask us to rename this file. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on rename and I'll just say quiz video new. And then I'll click save. That puts this into our render queue. And then all we have to do is hit render all. And depending on how large this video is that you created is how long it will take. 
generally it does not take that long. Generally, if you have a file that's maybe a 10 minute video, it's going to take maybe a couple minutes to render that, depending on your computer and its abilities. You can see mine is going really, really fast here, and it'll have this rendered out in no time. Uh, the duration looks like it's about a two minute video, so for a two minute video, it's probably only going to take about 30 seconds. And that's it. And it's all rendered and it's ready to go. I always recommend going to your video and watching it. And that way, you'll make sure that the audio sounds right. You'll make sure that all your pictures and, and all your wording and, and spelling and everything's correct. And then once you've done that, you're all ready to go. You have this file that you can use and you've created this quiz video. I hope you enjoyed the videos on how to create a quiz video in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. Feel free to go back and watch part one, two, three, or four as many times as you need to. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get the new videos as soon as I release them. And if you like these videos, make sure to hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.